Hey, what's up champions? Chris Gloss here. Hope you are having a fantastic evening. Hope it was a tremendous day. I hope this live stream finds you well. It finds you doing well and being well. I know what challenges exist out there, but I know you are an overcomer. You are a champion and this too shall pass. That's something I want you to keep in mind that this too shall pass. This thing has come only to leave. Right, so this is there's a comma here somewhere. I mean, we're gonna have to continue to endure for some time, but things are gonna change. Things will change. And so that's what I wanna talk about tonight. I wanna go ahead and ask you a, quick, a few questions this evening. I wanna know if you're ready to make some changes because one thing that I know, things aren't going back to the way they used to be. They were, we're not going back to that place where people call normal. When you hear people say sometimes, you know what? I can't wait till things get back to normal. Well, normal is gonna look different. Long, normal is going to be new. There are gonna be some new things happening, some changes. So I wanna make sure you're ready. So are you ready for change? Are you ready for the new norm that we are about to experience, right? It's coming, it's coming, it's already begun. See, the interesting thing about change, change is going to happen, right? Whether you participate or not, change is going to happen. It's just like if you go to a cookout at a family reunion and you have that one family member that's still dressed like they're in the 70s or in the 90s or even in the early 2000s, and they still continue to dress that way. Well, change has happened around them. Things are different. We're not wearing that anymore. We're not talking like that anymore. We're not living and executing our day to day like that anymore. So if you're not going to participate with change, change is going to happen around you. And in order to be able to thrive, see, there's a difference right now. There's survival mode and then there's thrive mode. I'm coming to you and talking to you from a place of thriving, not just surviving. Yeah, we got to survive. We got to survive through this process, but it's not just about survival because what happens when this is over? You don't want to go through this pandemic and no changes have occurred. Right, so you have to look at yourself, right? You gotta look at your health, look at your, your wealth game, look at, look at everything around you with your family and your relationships. If you come out of the pandemic the same way, um, you're gonna be behind the curve. And that's just the reality because we are coming out of this. Sooner or later, we are coming out 100%. And what you wanna do is have some personal goals. So you wanna see some things different, especially now when things have slowed down a little bit and you have some extra time on your hands, you wanna take full advantage of that opportunity. You gotta be able to pivot, write that word down. Somebody type that in the chat room for me. Somebody type the word pivot because you're gonna to have to know how to make some sharp turns really quick. So like in football and in basketball, especially in football, the running back can have the ball and he could be going one direction and then all of a sudden it opens up because of blocking and he has to make a split second de decision to pivot and go that way. And you don't have a lot of time to think about it. You see it and you move. You see it and you move. Here's the picture that I want, to hold, I want you to hold in your mind tonight when it comes to making a pivot. A cruise ship can pivot. Yes, a cruise ship can pivot. A speedboat can pivot. Which one you think can pivot faster and take full advantage of opportunities, new beginnings, new starts, fresh starts? A cruise ship or a speedboat? Absolutely, a speedboat. A speedboat can take full advantage of opportunities because it can pivot faster. A cruise ship can pivot, but it's just gonna take longer. It's tougher to move. So it can be like a big organization, right? A Fortune 100 company is gonna be harder for them to move and pivot, but you as a speedboat, as an individual consultant, an individual practitioner, or a small business, you could pivot faster. And in your personal life, you're gonna to have to know how to pivot to be successful for this new norm we're all about to experience. And that's what I wanna share with you tonight. So I hope you're excited. I hope you're ready for this. If you're excited and ready for it, go ahead and type the number one inside the chat. Type the number one because you are number one. You are number one. And I want you to type number one in the chat to let me know that you're ready for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna share some slides with you and we're gonna talk and work through some slides. So grab a pen and paper or open up a Microsoft Word document 
so that you can go ahead and jot some things down that resonate with you. You're not going to need to write everything down, but I want you to write the things down that resonate with you when we're talking about this change because it's very important. Remember this as we go through this. Change is not optional. It's not optional for you because things are going to change around you. And if you get stuck in the start position, you're going to be behind. It's all about stepping outside your comfort zone and embracing the new norm that we are about to experience. It's like having a blank canvas. I don't know what it's going to be, but you have an opportunity right now to go ahead and start painting this new canvas. All right. So I want you to keep that in mind. What's up to Chris Carr and Bree Bree, Coach Bree Bree in the building. I see you guys there. I see you guys there. All right, let's go ahead and kick it off this evening. We're talking about making a pivot. We're talking about being able to seize new opportunities. We're talking about being able to take full advantage of what's to come. So the question is, is it time for a change? I want you to write that question down because I want you to spend time with this question after this broadcast. Is it time for a change? Look at your personal life. Look at your bank account. Look at your health. Look at everything around you. Look at your relationships. And I want you to ask, is it time for a change? Usually when we look around our lives, there are four questions that come into mind. We always ask ourselves, am I safe, happy, healthy, and secure? And if I don't feel safe enough, happy enough, healthy enough, and secure enough, then it's going to make me want to change. It's going to make me look around and say, hey, I want to change these particular areas, especially if I don't feel safe enough, I'm going to do something to improve that in my life. If I don't feel happy enough, I'm going to make some immediate changes. And sometimes it's not what is wrong with me, it's who is wrong with me. So if it's a who in your life that's interfering with your happiness, you may have to make some decisions after quarantine. <laughs> It may be tough to make some decisions right now when we're quarantined, but as soon as that changes, you may have to make some decisions. You have to look at your health. Ask yourself, am I healthy enough? Am I healthy enough? Am I secure enough financially? Am I secure enough in my relationships? And if you're not, you're gonna begin to make some decisions to change. So once again, is it time for a change in your life? 